the people left in the wake are those who avail themselves of our state parks, our, uh, our state beaches, and in most instances, those are the folks that can least afford uh, other alternate types of vacation. So I just think that's fair, unfair that they're held hostage. Uh, if the timing was January 1st, it wouldn't much matter, right? But uh, the timing could never be worse. It goes right into the biggest uh, holiday weekend, July 4th, when the parks are the fullest, and it, it just isn't uh, equitable. And so for those reasons, that's why we're moving this forward, just like we do with the casinos, not to hurt them and the, the income that comes from that uh, to do the same with our parks. If the governor doesn't sign anything, he's quacking like a duck, so to speak. So uh, we'll get to the first of the year and we'll do it again relative to the uh, new governor, whoever they might be, uh, who I think would look at this and understand it to be equitable. And, and this isn't uh, at all to be disparaging of the governor. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is all about the families that uh, save all year for that vacation in Stokes Forest and uh, have to send the Winnebago back because they don't have a place to park it. It's about that carload of kids for 20 bucks that can go to Island Beach State Park and cool down and see the fireworks at Liberty State Park. It's all about that. It's about the citizens of the state who deserve better.